In this video, I am going to share with you a step by step pattern of making this cute moon amigurumi finger puppet. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. For this, I am using 4 ply cotton yarn along with a crochet hook of size 3 mm. Now let us begin by making a magic ring. Secure it with a chain 1 and do not count this chain 1 as a stitch. Now let's begin with row 1. Make 9 single crochet stitches into the center. That's the first single stitch and then the second one. Now put the stitch marker at the beginning of the first row as it will give us a clear clarity on how many stitches we are doing. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. After completing 9 single stitches, pull the tail end tightly to close the magic ring and this is how your work should look like. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making round number 2. Insert the needle onto the top of the first single stitch in the first row. And while inserting the needle, make sure you put your needle through both the loops. Make 2 single crochet stitches into that first stitch which means we are making a single crochet increase. Now put the stitch marker into the first stitch of the second row to mark the beginning of the second row. Now continue to make single crochet increases in each and every stitch throughout the row, which means we will have a total of 18 single crochet stitches by the end of the second row. Now I am making the last single crochet increase for the second row. And after completing the second row, remove the stitch marker and let's start making the third row. Make one single crochet stitch into the first stitch and put the stitch marker back into the same stitch, I mean the new stitch to mark the beginning of the third row. Now into the next stitch, make one single stitch increase, which means two single stitches into the same stitch. And now we are going to repeat this pattern of one single stitch and one increase throughout the row for total of nine times. Just make one single stitch and then make one single stitch increase into the next stitch and repeat this pattern throughout the row. Now I am making the last increase for the end of the third row. Then remove the stitch marker and you will have total of 27 stitches by the end of the third row. Now begin with the 4th row with 1 single stitch and put the stitch marker back into the stitch to mark the beginning of the 4th row. Then make an increase in the, into the next stitch followed by 1 single stitch again. So for the 4th row the pattern will be 1 single stitch, 1 increase followed by 1 single stitch and we are going to repeat that pattern. So begin with 1 single stitch, make an increase into the next stitch and then make one more single stitch and repeat this pattern again one single stitch increase followed by one single stitch and then repeat this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point and by the end of the fourth row you will have 36 stitches here I am making the last single stitch of the fourth row and by the end of this row you can see a little twist and turn and ripple effect that is coming out with the pattern. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the fifth row. Begin with one single stitch and put the stitch marker back into the stitch to mark the beginning of the fifth row. Then make two more single stitches in the next two stitches which means we have total three single stitches and then followed by an increase. And now we are going to repeat this pattern of 3 single stitches and increase throughout the row. That's the third single stitch and then we have an increase which means 2 single stitches into the same stitch. And repeat this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now here I am making the last increase of the fifth row and by the end of the fifth row I will have 45 single stitches. Now remove the stitch marker. And let's start making the 6th row. Make one single stitch, 
put the stitch marker into the same stitch do not forget I just got carried away but I am putting the stitch marker right into the first stitch where my stitch has I mean the sixth row has started so I have already done two single stitches in the sixth row and into the next stitch I have made an increase and then again make two more single stitches and now we are going to repeat this pattern of two single stitches increase followed by two single stitches again so two single stitches two followed by an increase that's two single stitches into same stitch and then two single stitches and repeat this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point I'm making the last two single stitches of this row 54 stitches we'll have a total of 54 stitches by the end of the sixth row and now you can see the shape it's totally rippled now for the next row that is the seventh row begin with one single stitch and put the stitch marker to mark the beginning of the seventh row now make five single stitches total of five which means four more stitches four and five and then into the next stitch make an increase so repeat this pattern of five single stitches and increase now i'm making the last increase of the eighth seventh row and you will have total of 63 stitches now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the next row that's one single stitch put the stitch marker back into that place to mark the beginning of the eighth row and then make two more single stitches that's two and three in the next stitch make one increase again make three more single stitches that's one two and three now repeat this pattern of three single stitches increase and three stitch three single stitches throughout the row that's one two and three and then make an increase that's two single stitches into same stitch again one two and three so likewise continue throughout the row until you reach the starting point and by the end of this row you will have 72 single stitches now remove the stitch marker and let's start making ninth row begin with one single stitch and put the stitch marker to mark the beginning of the ninth row then make seven stitches we have already done one that's two three four five six and seven now into the next stitch make an increase that's two single stitches into the same stitch and repeat this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point and here i am making the last single crochet increase and this completes my ninth row with 81 stitches and just fold it in half you can see the shape of a moon now remove the stitch marker make a last slip stitch into the next stitch chain one and then trim the excess thread by leaving a long tail end which is good enough to sew the sides of a moon pull the tail end through the last loop to make a final knot and this secures our work now insert the tail end into the tapestry needle fold the moon in such a way that the correct face is inside and the wrong face is on the outside now sew both the sides together as shown in the video by leaving the last one inch of the work and we are going to flip our work inside out after attaching both the sides once the sewing is done check out the gap in between the work and then flip your work inside out as shown in the video carefully flip the work inside out and then you can add the stuffing into the toy now adjust the shape make the last knot as shown in the video and secure the join 
you can leave the tail end into the project you don't need to weave in the end just make the last knots to secure the join and take the tail end and push it into the project you don't have to close it here i'm making it as a finger puppet so i have kept the open to add a cloth if you want it to be a stuffed toy you can add enough stuffing completely into the project and then close it by using this tail end and then you can hide the tail end Now to make it as a finger puppet, I have taken two pieces of one and a half inch length cloth and attached on all the three sides as shown in the video. Now insert this cloth piece into the stuffed toy. Now I am going to attach this cloth to the project using a sewing needle and a polyester thread. Carefully tuck in the cloth into the project. Fold the edges so we will have a neat finishing of the project. Now take the two strands of polyester thread into the needle and attach both the project and the thread as shown in the video. I mean the project and the cloth piece. Carefully sew both the pieces together. After sewing it completely, hide the thread into the project and cut the excess threads. And that's it. Your cute looking moon amigurumi finger puppet is completed this one is really a cute fun and fast making project which you can do it and gift it to the kids it makes a beautiful play toy or even make your storytelling sessions interesting and attractive you can get all creative and decorate it as you wish to make it more appealing and interesting by adding some faces to it isn't it a cool idea Right, if you are looking for a written pattern, the instructions are given in the description. Do check out the link given there. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.